Do you guys know the doctor disrespect doing NFT shit? I hope he doesn't do that. I thought he was a pretty good creator and, and all. But if he gets into that, um, you know, NFT shit, I don't think it's gonna end up well. Yeah, the NFT game, Dr. Disrespect. Oh, oh yeah, this one. Imagine trying to extract with an item you discovered worth 100, 100k dollar on the chain. Think about the entertainment value as a viewer, let alone player. A new PvP experience is upon us. So he's basically saying that he's making a extraction looter game by himself and then he's gonna put up an NFT worth stuff in there which is actually gonna be worth $100,000. The concept of digital collection collectibles in an online game is so exciting to me, especially an extraction type of game. People saying scam and uh are just brain dead headline followers. This is the problem that people have been talking about. Same people that spend a ton of on skins for an annual release game. Same skins everyone has too. I mean... <sighs> so cheating will be out. Does, yeah, people are talking about that too. We knew this game was going to be NFT based He when he announced it. I didn't know that. I didn't really know anything about it. What is this? <laughs> Midnight Society. I, I didn't know the like details of it. I'm not really... Oh, oh noise guy's here. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, Dr. Disrespect, I don't really know him that well. Haven't watched him anymore. I, 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 I Like that much. It's CSGO skins plus Tarka plus NFT. The point of the game I thought was to have, have a fair start, not advantages over others. Mm, I don't know. I don't know the details. I only know that there's an NFT related stuff now. And that's all I know because of the drama. Uh, I mean, it's his game. He can do whatever he wants. I'm pretty sure a lot of people will actually play the game and put money in it. Because even though a lot of people are talking about it's a scam, it's a scam, or like NFTs are scam, or like those kind of stuff are like happening every day, every night, there's still people who go like, oh, <gasps> more money by playing games wow and then they start doing it every day every night he got roasted for it when he announced it he should have dropped it i mean i don't know i guess he worked on it hard i don't know i'm not him so maybe he needs to have a talk with his coffee dealer <laughs> yeah that might be better i i, I bet coffee dealer will be willingly to talk with him you know He's like the... Coffee Jilla is like the master of this thing. He should know better. Imagine how many kids dreams of finding this item and leave their saving to me. <laughs> I would like to know what item people will have to hide and seek to win 100k. We'll see. We'll see when it comes out. It's gonna be a ape monkey thing that NFT... It's gonna be like an ape, ape shaped picture that takes up one slot or some shit. I don't know, man. <gasps> Nikita answered something. Saw on our gaming comment thread. What the? I bought Tarka full price on the recommendation of a family friend a few years back. OCE religion. At the time, there were no indications that the game was early access or incomplete from the store page. After sitting in a queue for 20 minutes to get into the, an instance, among other things, being unfinished or poorly implemented box ATC, it didn't take long to realize the devs were taking the piss. <laughs> I saw information on a refund and see that they have no refund policy or yeah, I was, yeah, that's fine. Australia has pretty great consumer guarantee laws and this was clearly a case of misleading sales information I can request a chargeback through my bank chargeback gets approved and I think nothing of it and move on with my life a week later the cons that <laughs> sell this game charge me again from a different merchant account I go to log in on their website and my account is deactivated what I work in web development 
I'm familiar with payments gateways and I've worked on these systems for Australia's largest banks, energy and insurance companies. Let me be absolutely clear about this. In order for the devs to do what they did and recharge my card from a different merchant account, they must be capturing and storing card data in a readable form. Which means it's very likely that they have credit card details in their... What? I had to reissue my card. If you've already purchased this game, I recommend you do the same. Your card details will end up in a wrong hands at some point if they... Wow, that's kind of wild actually. And Nikita answered, we as developers of the game don't store any each if such details, card numbers, names, etc. We didn't even operate on transactions, Exola does all of this. Interesting. That is actually kinda interesting. I don't really know anything about them though. Interesting, interesting. <sighs> what do you guys think? That might be a good drama video. <laughs> I think, but I think that's gonna make Nikita too angry. He might actually ban me. Overreacted, I think. But well, like, I mean, I don't know any details about those kind of stuff, but he's saying that only way to do it is to have storing all the car details. I mean, he might be just a random person lying about shit, but still. It's kind of interesting perspective, I would say. He should have no, he can't refund Tarkov. Not really. I didn't know it too whenever I bought it. Like, there was like not much way to see it and also who thinks it's not gonna get refund these days like these days it's really hard to think not getting a refund you know like everything came they refunded i pay through x sola i don't think it's the bsc thing yeah yeah me i i pay through x sola too it means x sola did it well i can make it like that only in Tarkov, Tarkov refunds you. <laughs> yeah. Exola is sketchy to be honest. They probably did do it. Why Exola? I don't really know well about Exola. What what what's sketchy about? Them. They just have a bad reputation. Okay. 